we see is a traffic stop around 6 p.m. March 21st. One young black man driving a car is pulled over by an unmarked police car. In that car, five ununiformed officers. They apparently stopped Dexter Reed because he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. They got out of the car, guns drawn. We're about to show you this. It is disturbing. We pick up the video as those officers are getting out of their vehicle. Roll the windows down. Roll the window down, man. Roll the window down. What are you doing? Roll this one down. Roll that one down, too. Hey, don't roll the window up. I'm don't roll the window up. Okay, okay. Do not roll the window up. Do not Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. So a police officer who was standing on the passenger side of the vehicle was shot apparently by Dexter Reed. And then officers, four officers fired 96 rounds at this young man within a 41 second time span. The Dexter Reed's weapon, what's believed to be his weapon, was found on the passenger seat. And in that video, you see he gets out of the car. Police continue shooting as he's gotten out of the car and even as he's lying on the ground behind that vehicle. The officer who was hit, he was hit in the wrist. He is going to be fine. Listen, the mayor said, you know, you can never condone shooting a police officer, but we are going to investigate this fully. Part of the problem with this video is there is no audio until they get out of the car. Right. So we don't have the context of why they decided to pull this guy over. On the video that I've seen, I have not heard them identify themselves as police officers. I cannot say categorically that they did not, but they are immediately in a fairly aggressive posture with him. They are cursing at him, they are ordering him, and as we just heard his own sister say, he must have been very frightened at the time. He's a single guy in a car, and five people, five armed people, get out of an unmarked vehicle and surround him. Of course, the other focus of this is gonna be why officers continue to shoot once really the threat had been, some would say, neutralized, once this young man was walking out of the car. So that is going to be another question. As I say, his gun was found on the passenger seat, but you hear the officers saying, as he's lying on the ground, where's his gun, where's his gun? So they don't know that he's left that weapon in there. Now, also, COPA, as I mentioned, that organization, they say from their initial investigation, it appears to confirm that Mr. Reed fired first. So he fired on the police first, then this barrage of 96 rounds aimed at him.